Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your daily tarot reading. This is good for Friday, July 29th. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the, um, the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, so interesting, because that card was on the bottom. Present energy, loving man. <laughs> you have to enjoy that. Um, the gender doesn't matter. It's just this somebody's coming in to offer flowers. Uh, I love that. Okay, so let's see. We're going to pull out the tarot, see what we have here. Wow. Okay. Now, this is interesting because on the bottom, we have victim mentality and the nine of swords. This is the sleepless nights. I feel like a lot of you are kind of concerned. Is there going to be, you know, a romantic connection for me in the future? Um, because this is reading a little bit like a romantic connection, but it really doesn't have to be. It's It could be a dear friend that you're looking for to bring into your life. It could be, you know, a business partner, somebody that just really, I feel like you're looking for somebody that gets you. Right now, you you may be in this energy of feeling like nobody understands you or gets you. And so there's this energy of, am I going to be alone for the rest of my life? Whether that means in a romantic sense or just in friends or business or whatever. But your present energy here is, you know, seeing clearly, um, having, you know, uh, the fortitude to know, yes, I am going to have somebody in my life. It's the, it's a, it's a kind of like a switch to me. It's like up in your head. It's about thinking about bringing in somebody. You could be um, thinking about, I'm not going to have anybody. And when you're in that mindset of, I will be alone forever, that's what you're going to manifest. To me, this is this energy of, okay, wait a minute. No, <laughs> I'm going to spend time dreaming of the person that I want to bring in. And once again, gender doesn't matter. It's just this energy of, yes, I want, I, I want somebody that gets me in my life. Um, that energy has been coming out really strongly for some of the uh, zodiac signs. Yeah, trying to get on top of these feelings, trying to understand it a little bit better. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands, getting this new inspiration. So we just had the new moon in Leo yesterday. Um, that's a wonderful, <laughs> fresh new energy. And then we also have the uh, Lion's Portal um, August 8th. So there is this intention. I feel like, you know, with the Ace of Wands, it's your intention that you set around this new moon in Leo time. This intention of, wait a minute, if I stay in this energy of thinking I'll have nobody, that's what I'm going to bring. So I'm going to instead start really concentrating on what it is that I do want to bring in. Instead of focusing on what you've lost or you know, your fears of what the future may have. Um, because you're you're tired of the mental anguish. I mean, let's face it, you know, when we're in this type of energy for very long, it, it gets kind of old, right? Um, I mean, it just is kind of old. So I feel like you're, you're it's almost as if you are almost, it's kind of like, okay, fake it till you make it. It's kind of like this energy of, okay, I may still be in this Five of Swords energy, not really thinking that this is going to happen for me, but I'm going to put a smile on my face <laughs> and I am going to put myself back out there because there is a King of Wands, you know? There is this energy of somebody coming in, somebody passionate, somebody inspiring, somebody motivated, somebody that sees you for who you are. So your block right now is letting go of perhaps a connection in the past, um, of understanding that there is, that some connection in the past is over. And with this uh, retrograde in Chiron, this past situation could have kind of come back up. And so now you're like, well, if that person left me, doesn't love me, this could be even from childhood, you know, 
um, wounds, you know, family wounds. If the, that person couldn't, you know, stay committed to me or that relationship, sh that relationship can't last. I'm not sure I'll ever have another relationship. Um, but you're being asked to let go of that. Um, and with this retrograde in Chiron, it has been very difficult. Chiron is, you know, our wounded, our, our deep wound. And by healing that deep wound, um, and you could have a deep wound of like abandonment or alone, you know, issues of being alone, not loved, not recognized. Yeah. Yeah. It's your fears. You're, you're kind of just blocking. You're blocking. You have the two of swords here. You're blocking this lovely energy, you know, queen of pentacles and the world stepping into a new chapter where, you know, you're going to um, feel more nurtured, more loved. And it's really interesting because you're blocking it for the main reason of perhaps not wanting to be hurt again, right? So your ego is saying, yeah, why would you want to get back into love? Remember what happened in the past? Um, and then it's interesting. We have the king of pentacles underneath. So we have the king and queen of pentacles. These, um, these two are considered, you know, the, um, the epitome of the long-term committed relationship, you know, um, very grounded, very nurturing, um, very home-based, you know, reliable, has each other's back. It's, you know, it's it's a relationship that goes deeper than just the passion. I think this person comes in, there's a lot of passion and everything, but I also feel like you may be thinking, oh, but are they also going to be grounded? Will they stay? Is there that potential? So here we have, this is your advice, behind a mask and queen of cups. The energy that I'm getting here, because this is a little bit interesting, the Queen of Cups is an energy of loving yourself, of filling up your own cup before you give love to other people, right? Recognizing that if you give too soon in a relationship, okay, um, that you could deplete yourself and then you're no longer going to feel, you know, loved because you're going to start falling into a pattern of overgiving. I also feel like with behind a mask, there is this energy of this person may be coming in and then you are concerned. Well, I don't think they're going to love me for who I am. So yeah, I better put on a mask, right? I better, I better hide who I truly am. Or, you know, this is kind of a warning. Don't fall back into patterns of overgiving or of hiding your true self. Because I feel like this person comes in and then immediately your ego may feel like, well, they're going to leave too. So you better, it's almost like, you know, this is your ego. This is not your advice. <laughs> your ego is, you know, well, you better hide who you truly are. You better, you know, because this person is going to leave and then you'll be alone. Um, unfortunately, our ego tries to keep us safe, which is great, except that a lot of times it does it in, you know, the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. So we have sun on the bottom. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this person is coming in with an offer, an offer of love, but you are concerned I'm going to get hurt again. It's uh, this energy right now. Okay, with the Chiron, I feel is really coming out in here. It's about taking a look at any past um, wounds that you have in previous relationships. And it could be even relationships that you had as a child, not maybe romantic, but family or friend relationships. Um, yeah, it's about getting a different perspective of understanding what your true values are, your core beliefs, understanding what it is that you hold dear to yourself because you want to keep your focus on your nine of cups. Um, and I feel with the high priestess here, it's about 
listening to your intuition, understanding. You may feel like your intuition is off, like, <laughs> like you know, um, that you you have you could be saying, "I have bad a bad choice. I make bad choices in love." No. But we also have to realize we uh, do attract what we what we are, the vibration that we are. So stepping into an energy of truly loving yourself and uh, being your true authentic self will help to attract in somebody that sees you for who you are and loves you for who you are instead of loving you for, okay, being somebody that overgives, right? that maybe somebody that overgives or doesn't show their true self. So what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? Really interesting because I feel as if there is this energy here of perhaps you're really concerned, taking a really good look at maybe why you are so concerned about showing your true self to this new person. I feel like this new person coming in is a really good opportunity for you to really practice, um, if nothing else, practice having healthy boundaries, staying true to you, and showing and sharing your true authentic self. Um, the expectations we have are mostly delusional, impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Yeah, so I'll put that up there. Yeah, so they're bringing me back to this, you know, this behind a mask could be some of the expectations that you have in a romantic relationship or a love relationship um, that are really difficult for other people to to live up to. And then it's also, I'm getting, you know, are you living up to your own expectations? Yeah, a little bit of tough love here, but I feel like that retrograde in Chiron is really putting a spotlight on these issues that when we take the time and we have the strength and courage to take a look at this, we help to heal and purge and release those energies so that we can move up to a higher vibration and then attract in a true romantic connection. Wow, really interesting. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.